possible because we inherit it like that okay and we can make an employer so yeah make an employer employer and every employer is a person so we can get it from the person so public person and now it has the age and the sex from the person all right but uh, but employer has a salary and has a number of employer employee number of employee okay so protected uh, in salary and uh, and number of employee okay number of employee all right now make a constructor for it so emp uh, employer all right and get it an int age an int tax an int salary and the int uh, number all right before I forget it uh, so we want to call the pub uh, not public person person with a and s and we want a salary with s and we want oh s a and we want a uh, number of employee employee with uh, M okay that's it alright and we want the print for these two oh what that print yeah that was the end of this okay now uh, p print yeah print uh, void print and just write it out code employer and just write out the things okay age sex okay and uh, what else there is salary and there are, there is the number of employee and a new line okay that's it so we use a person class so age and sex to get this um, so yeah uh, we don't have to write these two lines uh, again and actually these two either j we just uh, redefine it okay uh, oh oh and we need to uh, create some employer employer per uh, amp and this will be ten I don't know what was the second oh by the way this is char sex okay this will be female and it has much more salary and uh, it uh, has 50 employee okay and just write it out so imp dot print alright then and as you can see it's right out the employer too so we re reuse the code actually make a function right here with uh, print something and just print something okay something alright uh, yeah this is just print something and we call 
uh, the print something with all of them. So p1 dot print something and p2 dot print something oh dot okay and e1 dot print something and emp dot print something all oh right compile the program and run it and as you can see uh, everything from the person even if it is a function that is not all written right here uh, um, uh, inherits so it writes out something <laughs> although in this program uh, it wasn't too interesting and uh, doesn't show too much about code reuse because we reuse pretty much one two three line of code but in a bigger program where uh, where there are thousands of lines each class for example a game then it would be a pretty huge uh, help so you don't have to uh, copy and paste as uh, as uh, so yeah so the old style is copy it to here copy it to here okay you don't have to do that because uh, yeah the program will do it because it is inherit uh, and pretty much that's it you have to be uh, friendly 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 relationship with uh, the inheritance because it is a very commonly used technique if you want to make a game or a bigger program that will definitely uh, will be a huge advantage so, so a help for you to uh, to use it and uh, there are program if you want to read the source code you have to be very familiar to the object oriented programming and inheritance because most of the program uh, uses these techniques alright I think this is the end of this lesson I will make tutorials more about uh, uh, inheritance and polymorphism virtual function which is actually cam came when we when I introduced the inheritance